trades or risk off return to the markets on Tuesday session with US uh, equity market pulling back sharply there, led by tech stocks of the NASDAQ down around uh, 1.65%. Uh, big headline of the day, though, was gold um, touching on all-time highs there, rallying for a fifth straight session, buoyed by haven flows and drop in US Treasury yields and, and a weaker US dollar. Um, XAU USD RSI rating is in extreme overbought territory, though, at over 78. So that's the highest level since that blow off top we had back in March 2022. Uh, Japanese yen was the G10 outperformer after a hotter than expected Tokyo CPI reading. Um, it also did get some more jawboning as well out of the currency diplomat Kanda, who said that markets must brace for high interest rates environments. So that saw it briefly drop below that key 150 level before pair up, finding a bit of support and getting back in there, that danger zone, I guess you'd call it. Uh, Aussie and Kiwi were both uh, marginally weaker against the US dollar, with Aussie uh, slightly outperforming the Kiwi there. And the APAC session, both currencies were softer amid that disappointment out of China, which weighed on sentiment before they did recover somewhat in that US session. Aussie US briefly dropped below that key 65 level, hit a low of 64.78, really for finding some support and heading into the APAC session back above that 65 level. Uh, Kiwi US pushing below last week's RBNZ low there and the 200 day moving average at 60.76 to make a low of 60.72 before recovering somewhat and back above that's key level of 61 to heading into the Asian session.